Just over a year ago, I bought this Sioux behind me. It was closed due to COVID. And before that, the previous owners hadn't really made a big success of it. It was losing money. So it needed someone to parachute in and save the day. We were the people to do that. A year on, I want to tell you the numbers, just how it's doing and what we did to save this business. So we're here at Lee Valley Animal Adventure Park. This is the zoo that we bought. It's just a whisker outside London, just off the M25. Perfect location, loads of chimney pots, but it was lacking investment, lacking systems and processes. And we've got loads of other visitor attractions. We've got Marsh Farm and Party Man World, and we've turned around lots of these types of businesses. We knew that it just needed a big dose of entrepreneurial DNA, big dose of energy, enthusiasm, and effort. We've put all those things in. So I'm gonna now reveal just what we did to turn this business around. So the big question you're probably thinking is, well, why was it failing? Well, a number of reasons. The marketing wasn't good enough. The events that get people back in, they weren't good enough. The systems and processes, the senior management team, and lack of investment. You put all that together and you've got a cake that isn't gonna get baked. Now, one of my big things why this business didn't succeed is I think value for money. Whether you are you know, an experience-based business or a scale business competing on price, people always want value for money. People were coming here, they were seeing a few animals, there was no play areas, there was nothing to keep people here all day. We wanted to keep people here all day, so one of the quick things we did was put shows on. We had a play area in this barn and it only allowed 20 people in here and it was our biggest, beautifulest, most undercover space. So we cleared out the play area, put in a theatre. Um, this is our theatre that we put in. Now we can hold 200 people in here. They're watching shows throughout the day. That's adding on about an hour and a half worth of dwell time a day per customer. And when they're staying longer, they spend more money on catering. They see it as better value for money. And then they consider going into memberships. And we get people into memberships, that gives us strong residual income. Every business that I get involved in, I want to make sure that we've got residual income. Whether that's membership, childcare money, it's really important that we have that because that de-stresses me as a business owner to make sure that we can pay the wages. So we now know it wasn't succeeding. The numbers were really not great when I bought the business. And they're a bit sketchy, some of the details that I've been told from old staff. And I think with my experience, I can guess that they're doing around 600,000 of revenue a year, losing a couple of hundred thousand. You've got big payroll. I mean, all these animals, you know, you've got to make sure you've got people looking after them all the time. They need to be fed. You've got huge electric bills. I mean, just everywhere around me, I've got buildings. They all need maintaining. So it's really important that we got that revenue galloping past 1.2 million of revenue as fast as possible. So investment, marketing, systems, process, being really strict on labor, getting people through the doors are all the things that I needed to do and get secondary spend up. So one year on, have we solved the problems? I'm happy to say that we have, and I'll give you the numbers in just a moment. But remember, when we bought this business, the maximum is doing 600,000 a year. That doesn't even pay the wages, the utilities, and feeding the animals. We're doing that easily now. We've managed to get revenues to circle 1.3 million a year, which is now producing profits, allowing us to reinvest in the business. It's allowing us to have a good set of accounts that we can borrow to get good capex terms on the business. And we're building loads, building a lemur enclosure, we're building a crazy golf course we're building a big play area we're going to do accommodation here the great thing about accommodation is people pay in advance getting you positive cash flow in the business allows you to carry on investing oh we're building a wallaby enclosure as well it's really exciting so what can you get out of this look the biggest thing I've been telling people on my YouTube channel is there's so many businesses out there where the current owners or organization that are running it have just lost their love for the business but you get something like this that there's loads of opportunities like this, you know, whether it's a restaurant, a hotel, a care home, a day nursery, an ice cream company, an indoor play center. These are all businesses that I've managed to buy really economically and then use our entrepreneurial nous to turn them into commercially profitable enterprises. I think it's a really smart thing that entrepreneurs can do. So you can structure it in a way that you can be really frugal with your cash. And when you do get them, you need to be frugal on overhead so you can be generous on reinvesting in the business. If you want to come and see me live, teach all this stuff, I'm running a two-day event in London. It's a meetup for entrepreneurs and all the people that follow me on YouTube. It's called Business Masterclass. Tickets are only a few hundred quid. There's no selling there. It's a really great two-day event. I'm going to be teaching people how to buy businesses, how to grow businesses, how to do property investment, all of that stuff. Get your tickets at jamessinclairbmc.net. It's going to be a great two-day event in London. Check it out. Um, and if you want to know how I structured this actual deal that I'm in right now, I made a video on that a year ago on my YouTube channel. Go and check it out by clicking here.